Hello friends, this tutorial is the uh, first tutorial from the course of groundwater, uh, groundwater flow and contaminant transport. At the end of this tutorial, you can uh, create a model which includes recharge and also two injection wells with a production well in different uh, levels and a barrier as you see. Also, you can uh, provide path, uh, particles and see how they travel from production well uh, from injection well to production and uh, from uh, production well to injection as you see that is the path if particles goes from uh, injection well to what is the production well as you see i provide production well at in the second layer and yes uh, and that's a uh, uh, barrier flow. You see particles, uh, they avoid from the, the horizontal barrier because they can't uh, pass through the, this horizontal barrier because it, it is uh, imper impermeable. Let us start uh, to make a model. file new model for example I provide a folder tutorial 4 and tutorial 4 ok save Regarding the set tutorial, I have a, a tutorial I published it before. You can use it as a third one. I put the link for all previous tutorials in the description. You can find it easily. Paste, grid, mesh. I want to have a two layer. Also, x axis for uh, 30 row, uh, y axis 30 row, and 300 meter. Regarding x axis, I want 40 column and 400 meter. Okay. Yes. To be appear better from option environment coordinate system. I want 20 minus 20 x1 and minus 20 y1. 400, we have x400, so I want appear till 420. And y300, I want appear or the y axis 320. As you see. Here minus this uh, corner is minus 20 to minus 20 if x is here for uh, 420 to 320 coordinate. Okay. Save. Yes. Also, I want to make it refinement. Make it active here. Yes. Here I choose this one and make refinements. I want three column and three row. Okay, then you can copy to here, here also. Also, you can copy to here. That is the location of wells. Now it's good. Yes. Yes, safe. Okay. Layer properties. Can find and can find. Can find and can find transmissivity. Can find and can find transmissivity varies. This one is good for all cases. I choose this one. Yes. Okay. Regarding cell status, I change uh, this 
hydro, uh, the hydraulic head for this boundary layer is constant make by provide minus one one is b vary zero it will be inactive minus one it will be constant i choose minus one then copy and by arrow in your keyboard you can go down okay yes and provide for both layers by this um, tool this one and go to second layer it provide for the second layer also yes <clears throat> directly is the elevation for bottom and give the elevation you see the elevation of the first top of the first layer is zero and the elevation for the second layer will be minus 10 yes and bottom of layers just show the bottom of the two layer the bottom of the first layer is minus 10 and the bottom of the second layer if you check it will be minus 20 yes parameter time since i use city state you don't need this a uh, table just we need for transient flow simulation but this is tutorial we work with steady state flow and I choose time as days you as I told in the first one or second tuto uh, second tutorial you should be coherent throughout the uh, model we I use it length meter and time as day okay <clears throat> initial prescribed hydraulic head. I want the hydraulic head 2 meter below the surface. From value, reset matrix, change it to minus 2. Apply to, no, just uh, the first layer. Okay. Yes. And horizontal hydraulic conductivity, I use. As you see here, 0.001, I choose from reset matrix 1 to the entire model. Okay. You see 1. It means all cells have hydraulic head my, uh, 1. If you, I go to the second layer, it should be 1. Okay. Regarding vertical hydraulic conductivity, I provide values reset matrix. 0.1 to all the model. Okay. We provide hydraulic, uh, vertical hydraulic conductivity also. Effective porosity. There is 0.25. I provide reset matrix. For example, 0.1. Apply to entire model. Okay. Yes. Bulk density, as you see, it says it's used for code MT3D and RT3D, so we don't need. Okay. Then from model, mod flow, flow package, I use wells. I provide two injection wells in the first layer, and uh, one of the second layer, uh, second layer production well here right elite just sorry just select the cell which cell show us 115 70 15 first layer 15 column 17 row okay i want to be 250 25 liter per day Okay, you don't need this parameter number. Also, you can copy. We provide the injection well for the first layer. Regarding the second layer, I won't provide injection 
production well here okay how much minus 50 50 meter per uh, meter cube per second okay yes mod flow also i want to provide flow package drain i want to provide recharge for example we have a 30 millimeter per year you have to convert to meter per day calculator 30 million divide by 1000 equal to 0.03 also divide by 365 days it will be 8.2 to the power 10 minus 5 okay value reset matrix 8.2 sorry minus 5 recharge is only applied to the top grid layers sometimes we have inactive cells so uh, they don't provide recharge so i choose recharge is applied to the highest active cells okay if you see i have a recharge it shows you that we have recharge okay yes also i want to provide from uh, horizontal flow barrier provide a barrier to protect uh, a place for from water for example i want to provide flow barrier here right click it shows the direction I provide a bentonite slurry it is a hydraulic conductivity you have to provide hydraulic conductivity of bentonite slurry divided by the thickness for example I have 10 meter and after dividing it is a it equal 0.00 hydraulic conductivity meter per second divide by meter per day divide by meter it should be 0 0.001 be careful you have to divide hydraulic conductivity of the material which is a horizontal barrier is constructed divide by the thickness of the horizontal barrier and the direction i want to be one go to up one okay yes and copy and by a row on your keyboard you can go up yes and from here right click change the direction to four copy copy okay as you see i provide for first layer but for second layer not so just copy uh, just, just click this tab and second layer you have now we are ready to run our model model is mod flow run check generate okay now i am um, go to model pm pass okay now everything is ready just we need to bring a uh, particles thirty one point five three layer okay also for here okay go to second layer you can magnify here 
and provide particles okay so then from option environment <coughs> scan towards sorry cross section no option particle tracking step length 13 maximum step is 12 and pass line color choose here active this one choose for the first layer blue and for second layer red okay it go to forward how the particles goes from the injection wells to uh, production well you see it is this one in 30 days this one in 60 days also let it go and as you see the particles goes away from the horizontal barrier because it is impermeable you see how it goes also let's restart f go particle goes from production well to injection well how it should be you see okay. also you can save the images file save say plot as pxf you can change the name particle production injection I mean from production to injection well you can save it can save as dxf file and dxf file okay you can use it with uh, autocad okay you see how it goes away from the uh, horizontal barrier also you can inactive also you can inactive horizontal barrier for example mode flow flow pack mode flow flow package a horizontal flow barrier you can make it deactive and run a, a, a model again i think that's all about 3d model see you in the next lecture have a nice time